Today, I'm really excited to share with you this really fun activity called a compact contact paper collage, excuse me. So what you're gonna need is you'll need a piece of contact paper. Some of you might have this at home. It needs to be clear on one side and sticky on the other. If you don't have contact paper at home, don't worry, it's really easy to make. You'll just need some clear masking tape or clear packing tape. And you'll put some strips down, sticky side up, on a flat surface. If you don't have contact paper and you don't have transparent tape of some sort, you can also use a plastic baggie and just take a glue stick and kind of create a little bit of a sticky on one side of the plastic baggie. You'll also need some natural materials. Here I have some things that I picked up from my yard. I also have a couple pieces um, of dried up flowers that have died from one of my bouquets from my birthday. And so I chose to kind of repurpose them and grab a couple of those. So I have some leaves, I have some petals, I have some little flower buds, um, and I'm gonna use all of those things to make a contact paper collage. You can also use pieces of construction paper or tissue paper, really anything that is small and can stick right on this paper. So you'll peel the contact paper so that you make it so that it's sticky side up. And you want to empower your child to pick some of these materials. You might have to do some modeling for them. And you're just going to take a piece and stick it right down onto the contact. What I love about doing it with leaves is that you can actually crumple the leaves and you can create these really funky little pieces of leaves that go really nicely onto your contact paper. So just have some fun with this. You want to use the word stick and pat as you're sticking all of your materials and patting them down flat. Once you've decorated all of your contact paper, you can very easily pull it together, stick it to itself, and then you've got this really neat thing to take a look at. You can do some extra exploration here, talking about some of the flowers or the leaves. This is a really fun process for children to develop and focus their attention and concentration on an activity. I've seen this activity in the classroom go from anywhere from like a couple minutes all the way to like 20 to 30 minutes where children are working collaboratively together to create this beautiful piece of artwork. You can also have your child compare and contrast the stickiness of the contact paper or your tape and the smooth dryness of the table next to it. This also helps children to develop their pincer grasp as they're grabbing all kinds of different materials and placing them down onto the contact paper. They're focusing right on this little pincer grasp and their hand-eye coordination is helping to drive those pieces of material down onto that contact paper. Have some fun exploring all these concepts of creative expression and representation and maybe you can add some of this contact paper to your belly time if your child is working on belly time or you can also add some of it to your mobile up above the head. It's up to you what you choose to do with your creative exploration. Enjoy and have fun!